Hi, everyone. Welcome to our weekend recap edition of Racing One Cast. And Sunday afternoon, Carl Edwards made it three wins in the season's first seven Sprint Cup Series races as he picked up the checkered flag in the Samsung 500 at Texas Motor Speedway. It was Edwards' second career cup win at Texas, a place he believes is very special. You know, the end, that, uh, that restart, might not look exciting to people watching, but it was really exciting for me in the race car to try not to spin those tires and hold off Jimmy and, and to win here. Uh, it means a lot. My, uh, my first trip here was with Tony Roper, and uh, that was uh, the weekend that he got killed here. And uh, he's a great guy, and it always means a lot to come back here and to run well and to win these races is very special to me. Other drivers complained that the new Sprint Cup car was tough to drive at Texas. Edwards says it's supposed to be tough, and that's part of the game. A lot of people, I've heard people say that the races are, are boring and people always want something to complain about. And if it's too hard to drive, then it does, you don't get enough side-by-side -side racing. The fact is that these are the 43 best drivers in the world. The cars have 900 horsepower. They're going 200 miles an hour, and the track's slippery, and the tires are slippery. And that's a spectacle, and that's what it's supposed to be. It's not supposed to be easy for everyone. It's not supposed to be driving down the interstate. And I'm tired of hearing people complain. The media make up stories about how terrible it is and all that stuff. This is auto racing. There are going to be people that are faster. There's, I mean, we're going to have days when we can't keep up because the car's too hard to drive. Somebody's going to win. It's, that's racing. So, for me personally, I didn't have trouble with the. I didn't have a problem with the car at, at, at Atlanta. I think that as long as the tires don't blow out, they're fine. It's all the same for everyone, and it just makes it uh, more exciting to win. It means more. Edwards beat Jimmy Johnson in a green-white checkered finish to pick up the checkered flag, and despite the runner-up finish. And testing on the intermediate tracks with the new car, Johnson still wasn't thrilled with the way the number 48 handled on Sunday. Good run throughout the day today. Uh, just real proud of uh, the, all the effort that's gone into uh, picking up our intermediate track program. Really showed today, and um, you know was was pretty eventful. Um, ran up front, led a little bit. I think clean air was really really important, and I, I was really shocked today in how how bad the cars drove in traffic. Um, it would be, in the past, you know, last two intermediate tracks, our stuff, I had bigger problems than worrying about how the car drove, but uh, it was really unfortunate. You, you just catch people and the guy in front of you, you run their pace. Uh, I, I really think we need to look at some changes to help these cars uh, not be so aero-dependent. Um, they're safer, uh, they're doing a lot of things um, in the right way, but we really need to look at um, making some changes so that these cars can have a little more downforce, uh, so that when we get into low downforce situations, there's more grip in the car. Third place finisher Kyle Busch, who also won Saturday's Nationwide Series race at Texas, was another driver who wasn't excited about the new cars handling at Texas. Well, it wasn't terrible, I guess. I mean, we ran up front uh, most of the day and had a good race car, good enough that uh, we could finish in the top five or run in the top five with. But, man, we were battling that thing like, uh, like nothing else today. It was just all over the place. It was loose. It was tight. There was just so much of a razor blade edge that we were fighting. We were on one side or the other. We couldn't ever get it exactly right. And so just a frustrating day in that part. And then, um, you know, when you get behind lap cars and you can't pass them because um, the, the aerodynamics of the racetrack of the of the car, it just, that's frustrating. And so, um, you know, we we're just lucky to salvage the third place today, I believe. And you know, we've got good race cars, guys at JGR do a great job of putting them together and preparing them and everything for us. And Addington made some great race, call, uh, race calls for adjustments. And we just couldn't, uh, we had one run there that we felt like we had a winning race car. And, um, you know, the track changed and the tires changed and stuff. And so, you know, we just couldn't, uh, couldn't ever get that feel back. But um, we finished third. Ryan Newman came home fourth in the Altel Dodge, but he failed post-race inspection. When NASCAR found the right rear too high and penalties and fines could be forthcoming this week for the Daytona 500 winner. Denny Hamlin followed up his win in Martinsville a week ago with a fifth place run in the FedEx Toyota. Jeff Gordon's winless streak at Texas continued on Sunday when he hit the wall on lap 110 and finished 43rd, only the second time in his career that he's finished last in a Sprint Cup Series race. Jeff Burton leads the point standings now by 59 over Kevin Harvick. Kyle Busch is third, 64 out. Dale Earnhardt Jr., who started on the pole on Sunday and finished 12th, is fourth. And Tony Stewart rounds out the top five. Reporting from the Texas Motor Speedway for Racing One Cast, this is Pete Pistoni.